Hello everybody. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna dye my hair. I'm gonna get rid of this color. So basically, in the camera it really doesn't show, but it's it's very 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 red, and it's not what I've been looking for. So I was trying to get a dark color so it could really just blend with my dark hair, so I don't have to do anything else to it but every 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 hair dye that I've been using is just not doing anything so I got this one is it a good brand? will it work? I have no idea I'm actually pretty nervous because I didn't want to use I didn't want to use a permanent color but I was just trying I was just doing semi permanent hair dyes in dark brown and they're just not doing anything they're not working they're just leaving my hair more and more red like if I see it now it doesn't look that bad but it, it is it is pretty ugly I don't like it so we're gonna change it I already read the instructions but I'm just gonna check it again so basically yeah Sixty milliliters of developer and it's just one one on one ratio. So this whole thing and sixty milliliters. That's what I just dropped my phone. I know I just dropped the brush. Okay, so again, sixty. Let's see. Does it show? Yeah. 60 milliliters and we're gonna just use 60 milliliters of the uh, mixer of the developer I got this one same brand same everything just to make sure and we're gonna do it I'm not gonna touch my roots I'm just gonna do the rest of the hair dye because I just wanna have a dark color ah by the way this is supposed to be Mm -hmm. Ash brown, cause uh, apparently, if you use ash brown, that's what's gonna make this color this brassy, and it's gonna make a nicer brown. So that's why we're using that ash brown. I don't know if this is true. Well, is it true? I just I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> I'm pretty nervous. Whatever comes out of this. It's what's I like. That's how I'm gonna stay, cause I'm I'm not planning on doing another permanent hair dye. Alright, okay, so I'm gonna mix everything and I'll show you guys. Here we are. I'm gonna mix. So I bought this at Sally, and there were other colors. Ash brown is supposed to have, I think so, kind of a grayish, grayish green undertone because it's supposed to be you know to cover all the brassiness so i saw a few other brands and they were a little bit greenish in the you know like in the sample that they have and i understand that's how it's supposed to be because you're supposed to mix it right uh, but I didn't like them. They were too light. I really want as dark as possible so I don't have to worry about my hair anymore ever again. Mm -hmm. I figure this is just um, regular um, hair dye. I don't think I need to be that precise when doing this, so that's why I'm doing it here. Okay, look at that, it's already turning colors. Dude, I don't even have a table here, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, here we are. Here we go. 
I bought two bottles just in case you guys know sometimes it's not enough but I am confident just one should be enough for me I have very little hair for real like I have so so little hair when it gets wet it's like two strands <laughs> Okay, the other side. <laughs> Dude, I won't cover it. Ah. I'm almost out, also. Look at that. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to make more. I really thought I had enough. Really trying to be as quick as possible. I don't know if over processing is a thing with dark hair, with dark, with permanent hair dye. Like, can you over process permanent hair dye to the point where it just damages the hair? Using like Can I damage my hair if I take too long doing this if I'm using just volume 10 developer? I don't know. What's in the floor?
the moment well you guys cannot really see it's pretty dark I'm gonna just finish using this here and go back just in case Wait a little bit here because the front of my hair doesn't grow that fast. So, mm -hmm. let me show you guys the back. You will see. Okay, now we're putting this on. And now I'm gonna wait 30 minutes. That was the worst idea ever. I just blew hair dye everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna clean, wait 30 minutes, and I'll show you guys the results. Here I am. <laughs> it's been two weeks. I have washed my hair three times. And this is the final result. Let me turn around. Am I showing anything? Okay. So, that's how it looks. Um, definitely not perfect. There you can see. I have tons of places where it really shows lighter color. Um, but it looks way better, obviously. It, it looks hundred times better now. It's more even. Uh, it's more. It's pretty similar to my natural hair color. And yeah, well, I made some mistakes, obviously. While applying it, maybe I should have used a comb to make sure that everything was super saturated but it doesn't matter um, my next plan is to buy a shampoo uh, that will help me get rid of those light colors because they're still a little bit brassy but it's not that much so I think a shampoo a blue shampoo will help with that so that's what I'm gonna do but yeah Overall, it was great. I love it. My hair doesn't feel dry. It didn't feel dry the first time. It's actually nice. This is my hair's curly, so this is after blow drying it. And what else? Oh, the three times that I washed my hair, I saw a lot of like gray water coming out. <laughs> So, I don't feel like it's staining anything, I don't see any stains on my pillowcase or anything, but it does, like you can see the hair color leaving my hair on every wash, I don't know if it's gonna continue, I'll let you guys know, but yeah. And that's it for this video, thanks for watching, bye!